know the way you were born affects your gut microbes? Environmental microbes start growing in the GI tract of newborns right after birth. The microbes initially come from the mother and are of the same origin as her vaginal and intestinal microbes, if the baby is delivered normally. But what about infants delivered via cesarean section, commonly known as C-section? C-section babies experience delayed microbial growth and acquire bacterial membranes that resemble those of the skin. These variations in microbes associated with delivery mode have been detected in children up to seven years of age. C-section babies are at an increased risk for the development of immune disorders from their somewhat impaired immune regulation. Likewise, there are some autoimmune conditions related to the gut which are influenced by C-section. Scientists have formulated theories about the effect of different delivery methods. They theorized that the infant's first contacts with pioneer bacteria could influence subsequent gut maturation, metabolic, and immunologic programming. This affects both short and long-term health status. They also see evidence that certain maternal factors are responsible for establishing gut microbiota in infants. These include, for example, time and mode of delivery, mother's age, smoking status, breastfeeding, antibiotic use, and other environmental factors. Early exposure impacting intestinal microbiota is associated with the development of certain childhood diseases that may persist into adulthood. These include asthma and allergic disorders such as itchy skin or runny nose, chronic immune-mediated inflammatory disorders, blood sugar irregularity, and obesity. Gut bacteria play an important role in human health. The human gut microbiome contains more than 10 trillion bacteria, which is 10 times the number of cells in the human body. Gut bacteria provide intestinal homeostasis, stimulate the development and maturation of the immune system, protect against pathogens, help digest fibrous foods, and harvest nutrients. Several studies published in the Journal of Immunology in recent years have shown that the gut microbiota in children who are exposed to different conditions before, during, and soon after birth are different in composition. When we don't have enough beneficial gut microbes or have too many bad bacteria, we are at risk for a range of issues. These include inflammation of the bowel, leaky gut, bowel disorders such as diarrhea and constipation, obesity, blood sugar regulation, and respiratory difficulties such as wheezing and allergies. So how can we take in more beneficial microbes? We can eat fermented vegetables such as pickles, kimchi, and sauerkraut. We can also consume fermented milk and soy products such as cheese, yogurt, tofu, and miso. But to truly improve our gut microbiota, we need to do more than consume fermented foods. We need to maintain healthy lifestyles and a balanced diet, and in today's environment, we really need help to do that. The easiest solution to maintaining healthy microbes is to take Digestive 3 Plus. Regardless of how we were born, we need to ensure our GI tracts stay healthy. Digestive 3 Plus contains probiotics that are shown to benefit health when consumed. Digestive 3 Plus also contains prebiotics, which provide the right nutrition for beneficial microbes in the colon. In addition, Digestive 3 Plus contains the full range of enzymes needed to break down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats for assimilation and absorption. Digestive 3 Plus is the sensible and cost-effective way to maintain GI and overall health.